Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to Kata DDA. Okie dokie then, so we're now in version 2750, or was it 850? No, it's 750. I was correct the first time. Okay, so there's been quite a few nice additions since we last covered uh, the ex latest experimental version. The first one I can actually show you straight away. So if we go to options and go to interface, we can now have the option to show item health bars. This is so fucking useful. So instead of showing um, reinforced, scratched, broken, bloody bloody blah, it now shows you in bars. That is just so much more useful, especially when you're searching for stuff. It is fantastic. So let's just quickly go into the game and show you because this is fantastic now I've done some stuff off screen I've come back to the base I've just sorted stuff out I've done a few other things as well let me just take another first A kicks you know that's that's life when you've got this integration all right so let's show you as you can see all uh, all the items that can be broken or that can actually be repaired will will have health bars. I mean, some won't, like for example, these military OD cards. Now, obviously, you can still reinforce these if you want, but if the item is in, in okay condition, you know, the standard okay condition, then you, it won't actually have an health bar whatsoever. But if it's been reinforced, then you'll have the two pluses, like these here. Um, if it's been slightly scratched, you'll probably get I don't know, uh, like this this one here, uh, this military ID card's probably scratched, etc, etc. It's just so much easier to, to actually see like that than seeing, oh, look, this is reinforced and other crap. There's two other things. Oh, fuck off. Put it on basic. There's two other things, yeah? So, coffee beans now spawn. Yay! Bit late, though, unfortunately. <laughs> So, all those coffee uh, shops that we explored, yeah, it's kind of pointless now. So, oh yeah, that's another thing. I actually remember how to do this now. So, um, thanks to all you guys that commented on this, by the way. Um, it's actually surprisingly easy, but uh, the way it's worded, you know, it doesn't really show it properly, I guess. So, here you go. So, what you need to do is you need to put the letter of what you actually want the, the note to show up. So, for example, if we say beef base, yeah, then you need to put the two dots. And what colour are we going to have it? Well, let's have it, um, let's have it a nice bright colour. Let's have it magenta. So, let's do a small M. Then we need the dot and the um, comma. And then we'll put base. Or, actually, what I should do is put. Boom. There we go. And as you can see, we now have home. We can't see it quite yet, but obviously, if you have a look right there, you can now see that it's a big B with magenta. Cool. Epic. So, what was the last one? Oh, yeah. This is fantastic. I really love this addition to, uh, to the game. It's called the Tailor's Kit. Now, me being a bit of a... A fanatic when it comes to um, sewing up stuff and reinforcing stuff and basically anything tailoring I absolutely love it and I don't know why it, you know some people really don't like that um, grind with tailoring but I do <laughs> I'm one of the weird ones so what this tailoring kit does bear in mind it's quite a rare spawn and you can only learn it via um, a few books the recipe via a few books so it's quite hard to get but once you've got it it gives you quite a nice opportunity to do certain things with your basically every piece of uh, um, clothing. So, if we go ahead and activate it, for example, let's say, oh, I don't know, maybe, uh, let's just say a uh, survivor duster. Yeah, now hang on, before we actually activate that, let's just check it. The survivor duster. So, the survivor duster has a uh, 36 storage, for example, at the moment. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the uh, tailor kit on the uh, survivor duster which is lost again because I'm a dumbass and can't remember where stuff is now this is what you can do you can add uh, extra straps, straps and pockets which will increase the volume of it doesn't work on all items though so bear that in mind um, you can line it with fur to make it warmer you can pad it with leather to make it more 
tougher and you can also align it with Kevlar to make it more tough as well and you can just standard repair clothing so let's go ahead and add some straps and pockets except we don't have enough rags to do that because I'm a dumbass and forgot to cut up stuff <laughs> bear with me won't take very long at all let me go ahead and just cut these up a little bit silly mouse should have, should have checked that first there we go so at least we've got yeah seven rags that'll do fine let's go ahead and uh, dump them Where's my, uh, there it is. I was wondering where that was then. There we go. Let's just stick that there. Let's try this again. So, we're going to activate that. We're going to enhance the, that. We're going to add extra straps. And you don't have enough rags to do that. Wow, we still don't have enough? Seriously? How many rags do we need for this? Jesus Christ. Okay, so you need a ton of rags for this one, apparently. It makes sense, I guess, because, you know, the uh, survival duster is quite big. Uh, let's go ahead and pick some of these aprons. Hot pants, no. Uh, d -d 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 actually, yeah, hot pants is ringy. So why not? Uh, d -d 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 emergency jacket, might as well. Uh, isn't there anything else that I've got? Wow. Okay. Yeah, we've got a hoodie there and a more balaclavas. Let's go ahead and just do them instead. <sighs> Silly me. Silly me. Yeah, I'm doing it with a lever as well because I want to uh, pad some stuff up and I've just took some vitamins. Let's just take some more vitamins. Now, I've also had a few problems with this character and I have a feeling that this character is a wee bit bugged and I'll explain why in a bit. Let's just go ahead and do this first though. So there we go, we've got all our stuff now. Now let's try it again. Let's add extra straps and there we go. So you sew extra pockets on your survivor duster. Um, how much did you have now? Was it 36? I'm a dumbass, I can't remember. Now it's got 48. <laughs> it's got a lot more storage. The great thing about this is that it doesn't or it doesn't increase encumberment, which is fantastic. So this is really for like high level tailoring stuff. So that's fantastic. Now there is there is um there is a limit to it. You can only um chain you can only add two things to each item of clothing. So for example the survival duster at the moment it's got pockets. I'm gonna go ahead and align it with Kevlar as well because obviously this is the clothing that gets most damaged. So let's line it with Kevlar. Which we should have enough Kevlar plates for that. So there we go we line it with Kevlar so now it's gonna be a lot more resistant. And that's fantastic. That's really, really cool. I'm not going to do it for everything now because that's just going to take too long. Well, uh, I can do that off screen another time. That's no big deal. So let's talk about what <laughs> what I think this character is a wee bit bugged. So what I've really been wanting to do is trying to go to sleep. Yeah, it's a problem at the moment. I don't know why. I've tried literally everything. So what's happening? is I know someone mentioned that you know going to sleep is a massive boon and you know what it is be, not, not being able to not, not be needing sleep is fantastic because you can just go ahead and do whatever you want it, it certainly helps with reading I'll tell you that much it certainly helps with reading and stuff but and uh, the problem is when trying to when trying to get past our alpha threshold yeah and the problem with that is you need to sleep to get the dreams if you don't get the dreams then you can't actually pass the threshold that's as far as I know anyway. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'm sh I'm pretty sure I had to do that before on my uh, previous character that did this. So, that's the problem. Now, what I did is, the first thing I did is I activated my blood filter. Trying to get rid of, basically, any kind of um, anything that's, like, caffeine in my system. Trying to get rid of anything like that. So, I've took that. Then what I did is I drank an old bottle of cough syrup and I've been trying to go to sleep. Now unfortunately it's not been going to sleep so I decided to try something a bit more drastic and actually made myself some poppy pain uh, poppy painkillers. What the fuck am I about? I made myself some poppy... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, sleep. Made some of that. Do you know what? I've took all ten and I still haven't gone to sleep yet and it's been nearly a week one week in game and I still haven't been to sleep yet it's bloody annoying I've used the time wisely I've basically um, read all my books that I've got left to read and I've got nothing else to read now which is fantastic but 
as you can clearly see, we still have a major problem. I can't go to sleep, which means I can't get past the fucking threshold. <sighs> now, there was two more things that I did do off screen. Um, we might as well just stop waiting at this point. Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter too much at this point, so whatever. So, I did take a purifier, and it's got rid of some of my negative traits. It's actually got rid of quite a lot of my negative traits. It's also brought my um, hollow bones down to light bones, which I prefer <laughs> at this point. Um, it didn't get rid of deterioration, no, that's the only problem. But it did get rid of all the other nasty things like chemical imbalance. I hate that. I hate that bloody trait. It's absolutely horrible. It didn't get rid of my uh, Marlos stuff, though, which is interesting, and I'm pretty sure it can. Nonetheless, it doesn't really matter at this point. And what I also did, I also made myself, um, made myself some alloy plating on my head, which is fantastic. Uh, I only have one lot of alloy plating now, so I decided to pick the part where it's the most weakest, which is the head. Okay, so what we're going to do now then, think? Well, is the thing right? We don't really have too much else to do now. I mean. We're already at a point where I feel that we've survived long. It's been nearly a year. It's probably it might actually be over a year. Jesus Christ! Really? Shit. <laughs> so we're in a really good position now, just to basically live off the land and basically live indefinitely. But that's not fun, is it? So we still want to do some more end game stuff. Now there's not really much end game stuff that we can really do at this point that we that we haven't found yet. With one exception, we can go ahead and get down the mines. Now supposedly down these mines, there can be good stuff. Not only could there be good stuff, there might also be an artifact down here, which would be pretty cool to check out. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do just that. We're going to go down the mine. This will be fun because I've never ever been down a mine. I've never touched them. Never touched them in 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 the game at all. Never touched them. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a really new experience for me. And uh, it could go well. It might not go well. It depends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop preparing for this journey. So I'm going to stick a pause in here. And we'll come back when we're a bit close to the mine. Okay, so before we actually go ahead and attempt this, <laughs> I do want to have another shot of El Faceum and see what we roll. I'm hoping we roll some good. Please. Hey, sweet. We've now got strong and dexterous. That's fantastic. Okay, that's actually a really nice roll. Okay, it's only an extra one to each, but hey, that's life. It's fantastic. It also means we're never disintegration. <laughs> but we have enough first aid kits to accommodate that, so I'm not too fussed about that whatsoever. That's fantastic. That was a nice roll. Yeah, so I figured, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to show you the journey there. I thought, I figured may as well. I'm getting really low on this, so I thought... I'll share the experience we have because hey, that's me. Alright, so um oh shit, hang on. Let's I open hang on, there we go, that's that's better. Let's just smash into these zombies as you do. Fantastic. So I think I'm pretty much prepared for my trip. I've got plenty of first aid kits. I've got a few bandages as well, just to be on the safe side. I smack into a bush like a dumbass. And I've also topped up my atomic coffee. <laughs> Even though I'm probably not going to need it, I've still topped it up anyway because screw it. I've got four pistols. I can probably if um, if I can't carry that much, I might have to uh, might have to get rid of one or two. But you know what? I think it's fine because uh, as I said, we've now got rid of the hollow bones. We've only got uh, wheat bones now, so um, our weight's back up to 142, which is fantastic. We've also got load of encumbrance now thanks to my. Uh, Thanks to that tailoring kit, really good, really good. I don't think it. I don't think the extra pockets work too well on smaller items like holsters and stuff. I don't think it gives you that much more of a benefit. So you're probably best off just lining those off with um, Kevlar or some, or maybe even um, padding fair to make them to make them more of a um, of a winter kind of a uh, thing. Yeah, I know what I mean. Shut up. 
<laughs> uh, we still got a little way to go, but it's not actually that far, to be honest. I mean, if we can, if we can just stick to round the, uh, the outside here. Oh, there's an anthill there. I just realised that. Cool. There's also the Trific Grove. That'll be something we could try as well, Trific Grove. But that would be. Hmm, I don't know, maybe maybe we could try it, maybe we could try it if we go off. I, I, I'm, again, I haven't actually um, done that particular event either, I haven't really took out a Triffid nest. But that might actually be pretty cool doing that. That's going to be quite dangerous because Triffid Queens are bastards. <laughs> but um, yeah, we need to make sure the vehicle's nowhere near when that happens, otherwise there could be trouble. Oh yeah, I also took, I also took uh, the advice of good old Mr. Frodo again. Um, what I've been using, I've been using the uh, metabolic interchange, and I'm actually going to activate that now, because well, what this does is it just basically generates power from your um, from basically your food that you've had. Yeah, it does make you more hungry quicker, but it doesn't matter because we've got tons and tons of food, and as you can see, it's going up. Okay, I, I we we now. We might be getting hungry soon, but who cares when we've got loads and loads of power? And we might as well do it because it's worthwhile doing. It means I haven't got to worry too much about it. Uh, we should probably repair soon as well. Let me just see how far we are. Okay, we're still quite far. No big deal. Did we check this area out, by the way? Hang on. Uh, no, no. Get back. Re reverse, reverse, reverse. Let me see if I can just. Get a bit closer and just do this instead. Let's see. Okay, we probably didn't check this out actually. Previously, there's a glass pass a few of them. Might be worth actually just checking, doing a quick check. I can also do a. I can also do a little bit of repairing as well because, as you can probably tell, it kind of needs it. Heard a noise. Oh shit! And I still didn't stop welding. Okay, what? Well, well, let, let me do. Let me. Let me do it then. Stupid spider, go away. <laughs> okay, I'm not bothered about that though, that's not really a big deal. The immediate mold we can kill. There we go. No mold for me. No, uh, no blobs for me. Sad face. Anyway, let's just see what we've got here. So, science lab. Do you, want me, do you see what I mean? No, it's so much easier to see now whether um, stuff's worthwhile carrying or not. Just by looking at the elf bars, which is really nice, really nice addition. There's a laptop computer there, I'm not really too fussed about that. No, no. Uh, is that the purifier? The water purification tablet, where's this purifier? Oh, it's up there, I can see it. I can see it. There it is. Don't even care about that zombie. I was like, yeah, I'll just walk into you. I don't care. <laughs> Right, so uh, let's just drop these over here. And obviously, I don't need all these, so let's just go ahead and drop do, 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 dust mask. Uh, that, that, that. Yeah, I've got a thousand batteries, so that we've got plenty of light as well. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, as you can see, I'm never very hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some granoleolia. Two granoleas, and you know, that's on back to normal. Oh, I forgot to do the welding and then it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Screw it. Uh, I'm actually getting close, so I may as well just go ahead and take that off for the time being. I think at five thousand was it five thousand I can activate my nausea? What? <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I didn't want I didn't want to do that, but it was funny nonetheless that I did that. Do you know what that could actually be really good for? If you accidentally eat something that's bad for you, I guess you could throw it back up. That would be hilarious. I, I don't know if I don't know if it would actually work. Like, I don't know if it actually works like that at the moment, but it would be cool if it did work like that. It would actually be a, some benefit in that case, possibly, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it would be though. I guess. There is a brute over here which I'm just gonna, you know, just just speed past. I'm not really bothered. Not really bothered. A few smokers, blah de blah. 
Oh yes, I can't wait to uh, explore these mines. Fantastic. That's a mine there, isn't it? Well, that was kind of lucky. That didn't drop. Oh, there's more mines over there. Either they're mines or it's probably a worm, a giant worm. I kind of, re I really wish that. I, I know I keep saying this every episode now, but I really do wish that. I'd put under spawns on it would have just been so much more fun and you know a, a little bit more risky to do some of this kind of stuff that would have been fantastic but that's life hey there's my slime trail from before it calls that it's still it's still there Jesus Christ there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy where am we now uh, we're going there. I might as well just keep going this way. Seems to make sense just to keep going that way. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, do, 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 stop here. I'm just going to make sure I've got some repairs done because, well, obviously we've been ramming into shrubs. So, you know, it makes sense to at least keep it under check. There we go. Fantastic. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long at all. Hopefully, none of my uh, none of my fingers are broke. Doesn't look like it. Otherwise, it'd have been done by now. There we go. Fantastic. Really sturdy vehicle, actually, considering. All because of them ever duty frames. Right, let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Oh yeah, someone mentioned as well that um, bio-operator that randomly disappeared. It didn't actually randomly disappear. It it was actually uh, one of the. F it actually got infected with uh, a fungal, and it turned into a fungal zombie, which is really cool. But that was extremely fast. <laughs> it turned into a fungal zombie, really fast indeed. I'm not going to complain though. Not going to complain. Although. They have some really nice bionics that I would have uh, liked, but that's life. Oh shit, hang on. I should be able to just get go, go up this way and just ignore it like that. There we go, easily, actually. There we go. Fantastic. So we're nearly there now. It's just this one long massive stretch of road now, and then we're going to be there. You know what I might as well do? I might as well pick, get some of the coal pallets. And we get we can get a lot of charcoal. Might as well, haven't we? Well, we yeah. are. I did say I was going to do it eventually, so why not do it now? And I've just realised something. So there was actually a break here. I'm wondering if there was something there. Oh well. I'm not going to have a look now. We're going to go to the mine. Are we enough in the mine? I've got my. Uh, I think my survivor mask should suffice. Don't really know too much about these mines except for the fact that sometimes there's like little pockets of toxic gas. So I think my, um, I think that should, yeah, I think my survivor stuff should uh, be away with that actually. Uh, all, uh, as far as I know, all the survival stuff actually ha does have a decent amount of element, um, environmental resistance, that sort of stuff. So that's fantastic. As far as I know, anyway. They're still sandy. I, I, I'm not used to seeing sand in the wild now because it hasn't been spawned in the wild for ages now, for quite for quite some time. So, just really odd that I see it spawn like that. Really weird. I don't know why that got changed in honesty because you you, you do find sand even there, in, even in open places like this. You do find sand. So I was a bit a bit confused as to why. You don't see like that. You know it'd be really cool actually now because it doesn't spawn like that. Maybe some of the houses have like a sand pit outside. And obviously sand pits tend to have quite a lot of decent amount of sand. So that would be fantastic if um, you know, if if there was an house spawn that had a sand pit at the uh in the backyard or something. That'd be really cool. Or the back garden as I should say. Right. Oh, there's that lava there. Forgot about that. 
Okay, looks like we're getting close, so this is gonna be fantastic. Yeah, go slower, slower thing, slower. Alright. Actually we could probably uh, we could probably just go straight to the main gate. And smack into the uh, shopping cart while that's it, because why not? There we go, fantastic. Okay. Um, should I? I'm not even gonna bother. I don't think. I mean, how much volume have I got? I don't. Have, I'm not carrying that much. I am carrying quite a bit of volume, but eh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I'll tell you. What I'm gonna do. I am gonna. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna um, construct my finger magic like I normally do. But I'm just gonna keep it outside instead. Cargo, because you know why not? It's it's an original name for it, so why not? Cargo space. Use the integrated toolkit, toolset, or whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, that was another thing I I've, been, I've actually forgot, I've neglected to mention over the past few um, versions. There's been a lot more. Hang on. Oh, maybe I should take my. I'll take one raw jelly with me, actually. Yeah, there's been a lot more cha uh, a lot more of, um... Oh, God, I can't think of it. I'm having a blonde moment here. What the fuck am I... <sighs> Professions, there we go. Jesus Christ, Fing. Think. Yeah, so, there's a lot more professions now. And, I mean, they're pretty varied. Some really nice ones, especially with the use of bionics as well, which is really cool. Hey, there's actually fuel here. That's fantastic, except we... Well, we we could use it, I guess, but we don't really need it. Speaking of which, though, actually, we have got we have got a jerry can here, haven't we? Let's go ahead and fill it up. Uh, do, 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 do. Steel jerry can. Stick that on the. Okay, stick that on the road, then stick it in. Actually, I should probably just carry it instead. I can actually carry that. Bloody hell! Right. Uh, let's do the gasoline pump and let's use the steel jerry cam. This might be too heavy. No, it's not too heavy for me. That's hilariously hilarious. There is a zombie somewhere though. That's fantastic. In fact, what I might even do is I might just fill up this. Yeah, that would actually probably be easier. <laughs> just doing that. Fill it up. There we go. There we go. And there's probably still plenty of fuel in here as well. There's still some left over, Jesus Christ, fantastic. Well, there's 91 in there, so I'm not going to bother doing any more. I'm just going to stick that in there. That could be useful for a few other things later on. But for now, we're going to go ahead and explore the mine. So we've got our pickaxe in our, in our thing here. Now, here we go. This is this is it, isn't it? It's a manhole cover. All right, let's check this out. So, bypass security, yes. Login successful, direct power to the elevator, yes. Why not? Seems like a smart idea. Now, where is the elevator? I don't know. <laughs> I, I know, seriously, I actually don't know. <laughs> seriously, there was another pick. Oh, hang on. That's my pickaxe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Actually, that would seem sense, you know, to, you know for that to be a pickaxe. That would seem sensible. I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. So, here's the um, elevator. So, let's use them. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and activate uh, do, 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 flashlight. Now I've got plenty of batteries ready for this, so that's fine. Make sure it's uh, reloaded. Alright, so. Nothing around here yet. Holy shit, look at this. Is that lava? That's lava, isn't it? Cool. Alright. So I wonder where I can find these um, coals. I mean, it's just all solid rock at the moment. I wonder if we can. We might be able to use the pick to actually break through these. I don't know if that's going to be a smart idea, though. Oh, I forgot my grappling hook. We cannot go anywhere without my grappling hook. And you know what I've just realised? I think I left it at home. Fuck. <laughs> Please don't tell me I left it at home. I could have sworn I'd... Well, I wouldn't be that stupid to not bring one. I wouldn't be that stupid to not bring one. Surely not. 
Surely not. <sighs> yes, I was stupid enough to not bring one. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, grappling hook. I need to just search for it, actually. It's probably easier. Grap. There we go. Oh, I can't make one. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, we have to be we have to be super careful then. And uh, we can use the controls there we are. Yeah, let's be super careful and not go into any dangerous holes. <laughs> oh hello, what's these? That's a downward slope. Do I want to? Probably not. Right, let's see what else there is around here. There's absolutely nothing. That's some good, isn't it? So, there's nothing here. Which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and go down them stairs then that was in here. I don't know where this leads to. Holy shit! You fell down a level. You fall expertly and take no damage. Well, well done, Feng. You've already fucked up. GG. But I fell down, and apparently, okay, whatever. Let's see what else is here. So there's nothing here. Oh, saving. Okay, there's lava, which is to be expected, I guess. Uh, do there's got to be something else around here somewhere, surely. There's another downward slope. This is exactly the same kind of fucking layers, except... Actually, it might be exactly the same bloody layers. Right, that's a metal grate. That ledge looks too dangerous to mess with. Best leave it alone. Oh, okay, there's actually a down... Oh! Ha <laughs> ha That's cool. Except, no, I can't move. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in the ledge. Ah, I see. I see now. I see. Okay. Right, let's get in this ledge then. You dodged the dark worm. Holy shit. Is that's not my foot that's not my fuzzy neck up, is it? Well <laughs> that didn't last. Acid! Holy shit, there's there's spew acid as well. Um let's see if we can get that corpse for anything. Uh, if I go ahead and Plant that there. Let's see what we can harvest from that. Lots of tainted meat. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> I was hoping for something a bit more, um, shall we say, useful. Right. Oh, bollocks. I just realised something. Hang on. Can that, is that back up? It is back up. That's fantastic. Right. Let's see. I'm debating whether I should bought the pickaxe from me just in case we have a cave and I don't even know if caves in actually are a thing in this. Holy shit, hello. Hello. Light amps. Let's go ahead and take that. I'll take the sinew as well. I'm not going to take the human flesh. I don't want to eat human. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Lots of lava around. Go ahead and eat some of that and then have a drink, make sure we're slaked and stuff. We're in a good position at the moment, I feel. Is this another one of those little... It is, yeah. Oh, sweet. What's in this one? Hard at. Oh, well. Not as useful. Oh, well, what the fuck's this? If I only had a shovel. Oh, seriously. Seriously? Fuck. Right, let's go ahead and reload the batteries. There's another worm down there that's leaving acid all over the place. Wow. <laughs> not even not even going to say anything. Is there anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Let's check up here. Nah, it's the same place, isn't it? Well, let's get down. Let's get further down and see what else we can find. Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, it, that must be the... Uh, that was with the chemical things. I f I'm assuming I can... Yeah, I can walk into that piece of piece. That's fine. There's a lot of smoke coming from that, though. 
Yeah, he found a way to shovel. Alright. Ooh, hello. Oh, there's actually loot there as well. Oh, a long rope. Well, that's useful. Thank you. That's fantastic. That could. No, I'm, I'm serious. That could actually be pretty useful. I've already got that one. <laughs> Can't deconstruct it either, so that's pointless. I will take it, though, just for a um, precaution. There was a pickaxe then. And sonic resonator. I'll take those off for precaution. So. That's pretty cool. So there's, there's there's like mining related CBMs. I mean, you know, obviously in a mine you'd probably want you know to be at least fairly strong. And of course we've got the other stuff as well, like the sonic resonator. That makes that makes a lot of sense, really. Pickaxe. Right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can do this then. So can we just do we apply the pickaxe instead? Mine where? I want to see what happens. Holy shit, okay. Um, yeah, stop mining. What the fuck? Oh, it's my finger kicking in. I'm a dumbass. I thought it was... I thought it was something going on me. You attack the side rocky pickaxe, saving the game, which may take a while. Uh, you figure it will take an hour and a half at this rate. So, it's going to take a while by the look of it. But I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens. Assuming I don't get covered by smoke. Oh well, it's no big deal. I just want to see what happens. I just want to see if anything actually, um... I just want to see if I actually get... That's got it. Ten more minutes of work to open, and it's done it. Limestone! Sweet! And lots of rock. Well, that's not as useful, I guess. Um, now I'm worried, though, because this is pretty, uh, this is pretty bad. Can't see a damn thing through here. So yeah, let's just uh, just concentrate on stuff. Wow, I mean, it literally, it's literally took my uh, vision down to fuck all. Oh dear, this isn't good. Uh, oh shit, well, it's a, it's a good job the stairs there because I want to see them. Right, I'm going two ticks. Okay, there's a corpse there. Right, let's get down and see what else we can find. Okay, there's a human corpse there. Plastic bottle of clean water. Steel jerry can, which I'm not going to pick up because it's too heavy. More hydraulic muscles. I don't need a second one. Welding goggles, nope. Welding goggles, nope. This is actually kind of a decent place to go. Once you've got a middle. Like a middle game character, I guess. As long as you've got decent protection. Seems to be, I mean, there's there's a lot of tools down here that would be useful. But of course these dark worms are a bit... I don't know. And at the moment, I haven't actually seen them do much to me at all, so... Who knows, maybe they're not as uh, bad as the first scene. Wow, that's, uh, that's a massive improvement to lighting, isn't it? Another flashlight, jumpsuit. I'll take the flashlight and the mine helmet, because we might need them. Steel tail boots, steel tail boots. Sorry, not not the other one I was talking about. Integrated tool set. <laughs> Let's take it anyway. Just be on the safe side. Wow, lots of uh, human bodies down here. Right, let's check down here. Oh god, another worm. Don't step into the pool of acid. No. There's more worms down here. Okay. Oh, what's that? Log into Neo Power. Read the logs. A normal random team is unearthed a hollow chamber. This would not be at the ordinary save for the odd perfect vertical fault line found. In this fault line there's several odd connectivities in which you will have more superstitious crew members alarmed. They seem to be of human origin. Uh, do, 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 no. Initiate tremors. What the fuck? Do I want to do that? That seems like a bad idea. And I'm going to stick a cut in here because this looks interesting and we're 40 minutes in so I'll see you later guys.